So today, the two things I want to get done is I want to get these brake calipers mounted up. I got off Amazon, so I got the rear one. Uh, I have the front one, but the front one cable is too short, so I got a new brake line. The brake line is too short, so I got a new brake line. Uh, the front ones should mount up to the front forks, um, no problem, but the rear, they don't quite match up. Um, so I think I'm going to try to flip that bracket around to get the correct orientation. Or I may try this bracket as well. But to figure that out, I'm going to take the rear wheel off and try to get this situated. So I want to try to get the 340, the GX340, mounted to the frame and to help assist uh, with that. Uh, I do have some RK420 chain that I got off Amazon as well. Let's get the brakes going first and then let's get the motor mounted up. Alright, so I took the bracket and I flipped it around because before this was on that side and the brake caliper actually matches up very well on there flip that way so I, I did have to go to a smaller spacer um, this is probably gonna be all the way forward and then have this like up here so I can run a bolt through to stabilize it this was way easier than what I thought it was gonna be only thing is that that bolt there just on like the little adjuster it scrapes the disc brake just barely they work better than what i thought that they would work and i guess over time the head um, on that slider pin will wear down just enough where it doesn't make contact but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything right now so we're going to call the back brakes a success for the fronts the biggest thing that i see is that i'm going to have to make a spacer to go in between the fork and the caliper mount. My plan of attack here, I found some bolts that should be long enough. And then I also have my kit of little nylon spacers that I bought for another project, but they have came in handy. And they have all different thicknesses and stuff. So basically I'm just gonna stack some of these in there until I figure until it's mounted and the wheel still spins freely. All right, so I got the front zone or well, the front on with the spacer, the little nylon spacers. Uh, and the same thing on the front. The little silver bolt is hitting on the caliper. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my grinder and I'm going to shave that little Allen head down just a wee bit. Let's shave a little bit off of that bolt. Shave it down a little bit and now it just spins like butter let me switch out the brake line and the reason why i'm switching it out is because it's made for a pocket bike and the pocket bike handlebars are typically you know right here well this brake line is too short because i don't have pocket bike handlebars so this red one should be long enough to go from there to over here um, so let me get the brake line switched out and let me try to bleed it got the uh, brakes bled and they're good to go all right so i went ahead drilled a hole found a bolt used my little nylon washers again to do the support for the bracket that way it won't move and you can't even see the disc brake because i had to put it so low for that um for the support to mount up get the 340 uh, set in here and I'm no expert at chain alignment but it seems like this is going to be pretty spot on seems like it's pretty straight 
so I'm going to go ahead and mark the holes and drill and I have another box of 420 I thought the chain was going to be long enough but it ain't so I got another box of 420 uh, and I'm going to run that chain once I get the motor bolt it down and make sure that everything spins freely and that it's happy So I pulled the carburetor off to clean it, but um, yeah, just a couple years past due. I had a new Amazon carburetor on my GX270. I'm sure the jets in it are probably too small, but I just threw it on here in the meantime. I did order uh, the straight back exhaust from OMB Warehouse. Not sponsored, not affiliated. This is where I got it from. And I bought it from there because it has like a brace on it. And I also bought the um, I bought the Makuni 33, 34 millimeter uh, adapter as well. And I also did order the twist grips from Amazon. So I will go ahead and get these twist grips installed now. All right, so twist grips are installed so now we are just waiting on the exhaust and the Makuni adapter so that I can order the correct Chikuni carburetor to go on top of it I've only started this on starter fluid oh and I also got a tank on eBay it came off like like a mid 60s or like a mid 70s uh, bike has like some nice patina some dents and stuff in it so once I get that, figure out how it's gonna mount. Yeah, this thing should be ready to start the next time that we come back. I'm gonna install a couple things and try to get a first start and see how everything works. This should be my exhaust pipe and my Makuni Chikuni adapter. Got a sticker that I will not be using, no offense. So I got my Chikuni adapter. It's actually a really nice adapter. And I wanted to get the adapter first so that I could measure the OD so I can make sure that the carburetor actually fits up with it and so that I can order the right um, sleeve thing, Mababa. The outside diameter of the end of the pipe so that I can find a slip-on muffler to put on. And none of this is sponsored. This is all my money. So don't don't get it twisted. So that's a it's actually a real nice looking pipe. And got a support bracket. Alright, well this sucks. The exhaust is not bent out far enough to where it will clear the frame. That sucks really bad there. But overall the pipe does look good. Let me make sure that this actually fits. Yeah, so that lines with the studs, so I can mount my Amazon carburetor up to that once I figure out which one I'm going to order. It's 34 millimeters, yeah, so I can find a slip-on pipe, 1.3 inches, 34 millimeters, so I can find like a dirt bike uh, slip-on pipe for that, no problem. So here should be my gas tank that I ordered off of eBay. Something cool, something rustic. Why not buy something old? So here it is, just simple. You know, it has some dents in it. You can see where it had two straps holding it down. You know, pretty cool. Inside of the tank look pretty good and it does look, I don't know if y'all can see in there, but the tank looks pretty good in there. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna do here. So I boarded the warranty of the pipe by cutting the little support bracket off so I can no longer return it. So a carburetor intake spacer thing of a bobble. Well, guess what? This is the same spacing that is used for the exhaust. Now, granted, yes, it's plastic. It probably will melt, but to get this thing running, I think I'm going to trim it down, put the metal gasket on the inside, 
the paper gasket on the outside so that we can at least get it to run in. And I think what I'm end up doing is just ordering a uh, one of those exhaust flanges for like wooding your own exhaust and just double gasketing double gasketing that and use it as a spacer. So I'm gonna use this for now as temporary and I will order a uh 270 340 420 301 uh doggone it uh gasket uh metal flange to put in between there to act as a little spacer. Got the air intake cut down for the exhaust flange. We're going to have just a minor little leak because of that little gap there, but you know, it'll work for testing purposes. All right. So however thick that plastic is, is how thick of a flange I need to look for because now it fits. I'm getting impatient. So I'm probably going to jerry-rig up uh, a fuel source for this and give it a couple of pulls and see if it starts. Fun fact, I have to remove the seat to change the spark plug. Locking now. All right, let's hit it with some starter fluid first. See if we can get it to kick off. She runs. I just need to figure out to mount the tank. Um, I need to. Ooh, that's hot. I need to 
get an actual steel flange because that plastic I don't know how long that's gonna hold up before that starts to melt uh, get the tank mounted up and take this bad girl for her first ride because seems like she is ready to go so this is gonna be it for this video oh and one more thing is that I'm going to be making a mount for the attack so basically it's just gonna it's gonna bolt down to those two top bolts and it's gonna bend up and then the tech is gonna be mounted right there so I can see the RPMs that I'm running so that's being the works too the mode is mounted the pipe is mounted the threes you no know, the 270 carburetors on there for right now it runs it starts the brakes work functionally it's ready to go um, but yeah I can't I can't wait to take the bad boy on the first ride and to show y'all as well so guys, until next time, peace.